When Microsoft was introducing Windows 10 to the public, one of the biggest show-off features was the multiple desktop option. For those of you who don't know, if you click on the task view icon on the left side of the taskbar, in the bottom right corner of your screen you'll find a plus button which you can click in order to create desktops. As you create new ones, they'll appear on the bottom of the screen and of course to access one, you simply click on it. Now, supposedly, Windows 10 should allow you to create as many desktops as you want. But of course, when talking about numbers that a computer has to count, there's always a limit. And being the curious guy that I am, I started smashing that plus button. So let's see how many parallel desktops I can have on the particular system that I'm using for this video. System specs on screen. So after a few minutes of clicking like a madman, I finally got to a point where I wasn't able to create any more desktops. And the number of them that I managed to get is 719. Now, the number of desktops that I managed to create on this particular system doesn't have to be the same for you. In fact, after doing some research online, I learned that Windows 10 will allow you to create as many parallel desktops as your system configuration allows. And as it turns out, that's not really a good thing. And here's why. Let's say you're one of those people like me who have absolutely nothing better to do with their life, so you max out the number of desktops on your Windows 10 system. Then if you click on one of them, or hit escape on your keyboard to close the task view panel, at that point you'll find that you're pretty much screwed. Or at least it will seem so. Because afterwards, if you click on the task view button, you'll see that it is no longer functional. Your computer will probably still work, possibly slower, but the task view option will be good for nothing. And here's the kicker, not even restarting your computer will fix it. After digging around on the internet, I learned that other people managed to cause this to happen as well with more powerful systems than the one I'm currently using. And logically, the power of your system shouldn't matter. If you have a stronger system, you'll get more desktops, but eventually hitting your limit should cause the same outcome as on a weaker system. Now at this point, I imagine that there's gonna be some of those people who decided not to watch the video till the end, went over to their computer, screwed up the task view option, and now they're probably thinking something like, damn you channel hot monkey, you screwed me bad. But don't grab your blowtorch so fast because luckily there is a easy solution. Even though you can't close all those desktops directly from the task view panel, you can still do it using the keyboard shortcut. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is simply hold down the Windows and Control keys and then start smashing that F4 button until you close down the desktops. Now in conclusion, to be completely honest with you, I really don't know who would ever create more than a handful of desktops on Windows 10, let alone the number needed to break the task view option. So from that perspective, it's highly unlikely that this little glitch, or call it whatever you want, will pose any problems for Windows 10 on a wider scale. But on the other hand, I just can't see any logic in creating a feature that, if used to its maximum potential, will screw something up. It's just... I, I don't even know what to call it. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Stay strong.